So let's talk about redundancy for a minute. And what does that mean to us? Well, if you take an N requirement, now let's take an example. Let's take one rack. And for whatever reason, we need six UPSs on it. One, two, three, four, five, six. What would that be? That's right, that would be our N equals six, because that's our basic need right there. Now let's say we wanted one additional. If we made that N plus one, that'd be what? Seven. That would mean that we've got one spare in case one goes bad. And we'd use that spare when we need to. Let's say we're a little more concerned about requirements or redundancy, and we do N plus two. What would that be? Okay, now that would be our six plus two equals eight. If we get really nuts, and we really want complete redundancy, we do two N. Two N would be two times what? Times six, giving us a total of 12 units in multiple racks here. Then some will go as far as going two times N plus one equals what? Well, N plus one, seven, two times that, we've got 14. I even had one student in my last class who told me, it was, uh, he was in California, he said they went two N plus two. They had major redundancy in everything they did. So this not only applies to our power requirements, could be to the generators, could be to our uh, UPS systems, it could be to our cabling, most anything. But this is the way we uh, figure the redundancy on that. Okay, all right, let's move on then.